hi my loves welcome back to this face if this is your first time bumping onto this face do not make it your last with all of our fashion lifestyle and a bunch of general nonsense how are you guys doing welcome to a new video this video is going to be part of my pregnancy series because i have been trying to incorporate a few pregnancy videos here and there so it doesn't feel like i'm not taking you guys along with me for my pregnancy journey or things i would usually do when i'm pregnant and just all of that because this is my first time experiencing this with you guys experiencing pregnancy with you guys you know so this video is going to be all about pregnancy <laughs> so like the title has said by now or like you've seen it's going to be things i would recommend you do when you're pregnant so if you're about to be a first time mom or a last time mom like me this is my last time <laughs> i think these are things that maybe we don't think about or things that I feel like you should do and you're not going to regret it or things that I have done and I would recommend to you guys you're not going to regret it okay so let's just get right into it number one take lots of pictures I have a lot of people come to me and tell me that do you not ever have pictures when I'm pregnant do you not ever have videos of when I'm pregnant and I'm like that could never be me <laughs> because even without being pregnant I'm someone that enjoys capturing everything like I've talked about this before I am that person in your life that if you come to me I promise you I think I might still have your picture from secondary school or from uni or from doing doing crazy things and all of that I am that friend that would capture every single thing I don't have to post it but I just have I just love creating memories. I love going back and looking at pictures. So when you're pregnant, it's very important. I think we're so lost in social media or we're so focused on making things look perfect for social media and we don't take pictures. We don't capture moments. I'm like, everything's not about posting, but just try as much as possible to take a lot of pictures when you're pregnant. When your bump is out, when your bump is not yet out, when you look very horrible, when you look very good, when you're all dressed up to go out, when you're just at home and you just look horrible in your nightwear with oil stain and all of that like just capture those moments because when you look back at it when you're all good and fine and you're done with the pregnancy you would be so happy that you captured it i have random pictures of when i'm pregnant i have pictures of probably when i'm eating and i look so horrible or just with my bump out i just look very you know just anyhow capture videos capture pictures if you're just by yourself put your tripod record yourself doing nonsense dancing do you understand like things like that make sure you get pictures of your bump different angles of your bump like i said when you're all dressed up when you're just staying at home get different angles of your bump when you're about to give birth when you go to the hospital to give birth that is very important as well i know some people don't have the will i say the they're not lucky enough to have someone by their by, by their sides when they're giving birth maybe everything happens so fast it might be emergency and all of that but try as much as possible if you have someone by your side to capture the moment take pictures even when you're screaming and shouting and you feel so angry capture <laughs> the moment i am that kind of person i might be going through stuff and i'm just like cameras rolling <laughs> roll <laughs> because i want to look back and see those things i don't care the angle i don't care it's not for posting it doesn't have to be perfect for social media but it's for my keeps so i want to go back and see it so i like capturing so even before i started youtube with my first child and my second child i wasn't on youtube but i the way i captured it i could make a vlog like i was actually talking to people like i was talking to you guys i was making documentaries things like that like from my first trimester second trimester going to the hospital giving birth everything i recorded the whole process and i wasn't even on youtube i wasn't planning to post it but i have it and then i look back at it i'm like thank god i captured all of this so i have for like sage i have for like liam and now i have for this baby do you understand so capture your moments take your pictures do not be shy i understand that sometimes pregnancy can take a toll and you look like a completely different person you're no longer pretty and you're shy of the camera but just capture it capture it because guess what things will get better and you can look back and appreciate where you started from you understand you understand yeah so that's number one take pictures record videos number one don't forget don't forget <laughs> number two is like I said about the videos, I think it's very important to break it down according to your semester, your trimesters, as a semester, sorry, according to your trimesters. Like I do these things where I record or I kind of document my trimesters, like the changes I go through, like how was it for the first trimester? Was I throwing up? Was I nauseous? Was I sick? Was I irritable? Like I would, no matter how much, how bad I feel, I try as much as possible to kind of interview myself and I'm just talking to the camera. But it helped me a lot because... When, like for my third pregnancy, I, I had something to go back to. 
to compare it to, right? Because sometimes when you give birth, you actually forget. Like, I feel like women have amnesia when they're done giving birth and they forget the whole process. So even when I forget, I can just go back to my album and be like, okay, pregnant for Sage, I'll check it out. Or oh, was I feeling my first trimester? Or oh, was I feeling my second trimester? Is this normal? Did I say this? Did this happen to me? You understand? Like, little things like that. For example, with Sage, I remember, like, my gum I had a... A, um, a big boil on my gum when I was pregnant for Sage. With Liam, my tooth, I had a tooth that broke into half. So I was just like, is this normal? So when I went back to Sage, and I was like, okay, maybe it has something to do like your, your teeth and all of that, like your dental hygiene. Obviously, when you're pregnant, you lose a lot of calcium, your teeth, they're not strong anymore. So the first one was like a boil, second one was like my teeth breaking. So you'll be like, okay, this is not abnormal, like these things happen. But funny enough, with this particular pregnancy, I've not had anything that has to do with like my teeth or my gum or anything. So, but it's good to compare, you know, things like that. It's good to compare it. My first trimester for Sage, I kept on complaining about how I hated everybody around me. I felt like dying, you know, same thing with Liam and same thing with this pregnancy as well. So, so I felt like, okay, that was some something that was common throughout my all my, like all my pregnancy so just having something to compare it with i think it's very important to document your trimesters if you've not done it for your first child do it for your second child but if this is your first time getting pregnant i really recommend you do it from the beginning so you can compare it for your second one for your third one whatever it is you're going to just record it document it it might help you do you understand i can i feel like i anytime i do things like this i always keep it for my children like in my head i'm like i'm keeping it for you guys when you grow up imagine watching the journey like even when you were in mommy's tummy when you came out when you're all grown like i love things like that where i could just keep everything together compile it and give it to them when they're older so yeah definitely record it from the beginning as soon as you find out you're pregnant start documenting start recording and just break it down like that you'll be like oh this is my first trimester this is i'm four weeks today i'm five weeks today things like that like it's nice i promise you <laughs> and i recommend that next one is a baby moon a baby moon is basically when you're pregnant usually your second trimester because that is when you're kind of all strong you've gotten your energy back your glow is back you know you're all you're in a better mood your bump is out a bit so your bump is cute is out everything is like the perfect time to travel so some people either travel out of the country or they do like a staycation but mostly they travel out of the country so basically traveling when you're pregnant so you know how they have honeymoon they have baby moon so i'd recommend it and the funny thing is i didn't have it with sage i didn't have it with liam but this being my last pregnancy i'm like i have to do something i don't know what it is maybe like a staycation or something i don't know just that feeling of you know you go somewhere just spoil yourself you go for a massage you go to the pool go, go lay by the beach just put your bump out there just a little mini vacation and i think it's even more necessary when you already have other kids so you just want to run away from your kids <laughs> You want to leave them behind and have like a staycation so you can do it like a staycation it must you don't have to travel so i'm just thinking like staycation where you can even go to another city i can do lagos i can do ghana whatever just another city you plan a staycation where you just leave the kids behind you can go with your you you go with your husband mostly it's done with your husband yeah where he will just pamper you you're just chilling no stress do you understand so yeah definitely usually done second trimester to third trimester or basically when you're done with that first phase, that first trimester where you're throwing up, you feel sick, you feel horrible, it's just that uh, when you've gotten your strength back, you can now do your makeup, you now feel energetic. That is the perfect time to go for your honey, for, for your baby moon. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely recommend that. Just try it, something short. It doesn't have to be too long. Two days, three days, staycation or vacation or vacation, whatever it is, but I definitely recommend that. And the fact I didn't do it for the first two, I really want to do it for this one seeing that this might be my last by god's grace so yeah i recommend that next one which is something we already know but some people still don't do it and to be honest with sage i did not do it so i learned my lesson with liam and for this baby maternity shoot professional maternity shoot i am a big believer not a big believer but i'm someone that doesn't really go to the studio that often like i'm not someone that goes to the studio to take pictures for my birthday for example i've gone to the studio just when i was 30 when i turned 30 that's when i went to the studio to take a picture but i'm not someone that always goes to the studio to take pictures for like my birthdays or like celebrations so i had that same mindset when i was pregnant with sage i was just like there's no end of doing photo shoots anyhow i just took pictures with my phone and that was it but i look back and i was like ah i wish i did though I wish I did maternity shoots, but with Liam, I was like, ah, no, I'm not doing this again. I did my maternity shoots for Liam and for this baby as well. I'm going to do my maternity shoot for this baby. So I definitely recommend a professional maternity shoot. Just something you can even frame, something you can have. I understand you have pictures on your phone, but that professional one where you can plan the theme, however you want it to be, all of that. Like you can even take it with your family as well, not just you can take it with your husband. If you have another child, that child will be there as well. Or if you don't have another child, just you and your husband. Just something nice, fun, and very personal to you and to the baby you're having. I think it's very necessary. Professional photo shoot. 
definitely recommend it definitely next one just like the maternity shoot is a baby shower that one <laughs> that one from the beginning i just knew i was going to have baby showers whether i like it or not so with the first baby shower my husband actually threw me a surprise baby shower which i am so grateful for and I just did not expect because my first pregnancy was just somehow like i keep on calling sage my miracle baby but nobody understands what i mean when i say sage of my miracle baby but my first pregnancy really put me through a lot so there's so many things i was just ignoring i was just focused on the anxiety of being pregnant for the first time but my husband threw me a surprise baby shower and i'm so thankful for that for the second one i planned it myself but that was when i lost my mom so i couldn't celebrate it but i already paid like the decorator to design the house and everything but she passed like a few days before the shower so it didn't make sense celebrate it. all i did was just take pictures by myself i didn't invite i cancelled all the invitation i was like it doesn't make sense i shouldn't celebrate and i just lost my mom so i couldn't get myself to celebrate liam's own so but they did the decoration in the house and i was just at home me my husband and sage i just took pictures you understand but this one i have to plan a proper surprise but with this one i have to plan a proper baby shower and really you know celebrate it doesn't have to be something big I mean, something very intimate but i like to do something nice you know for this baby as well so i definitely recommend baby showers where you can invite a few people play games have a good time definitely recommend it for sure if you can something small if you want something elaborate people go over the top and do something big that one is good as well so for someone like me i have a fear for people i keep on saying that people think i'm very outspoken i'm not shy i don't mind being around people but really i'm scared of people i don't like too many human beings so i don't like elaborate stuff very intimate stuff i would like to do something like that for sure next one <laughs> is a push present a push gift a push present if you don't know is when your husband gives you a present for carrying his child and bringing out his child that is a push present because pregnancy is no joke and any reason to get a gift yes pregnancy is a very big reason to get a gift so pregnancy or push gift sorry pre push preg present or push gift is when you've carried the baby you brought out the baby and your husband presents you with something a gift it could be jewelry some people even get cars some people get houses some people get a bag some people get a treat like traveling or a dinner date something just to show appreciation for carrying his child and for going through all of that that you went through because it's not easy right so i think a push present is very important till today i've not seen push present for sage i'm sure you're watching <laughs> i'm sure my husband is watching i've not seen my push present for sage i'm still waiting <laughs> i'm still waiting but he got me a push gift for liam and i'm really testing it like a song to him now i'm like i hope you're preparing my push presents like don't don't play me don't play me but yeah definitely a push gift or a push present is very necessary for the woman you know it's like a reward <laughs> it's like a reward <laughs> and you deserve it okay you deserve it great so definitely get that from your husband okay whether he likes or not last but definitely not the least this is not um it's not like the rest but all i would recommend and advise you is to take it easy it might feel like it's not ending trust me i've been through it even though this is my third time it still felt all brand new to me it might feel like it's not ending it might feel like you're alone it might feel like your life is on pause you might just want to hit everybody around you because me sometimes when i'm on social media i'm seeing people happy people that are not pregnant and they're happy living their best life i'm like i hate you i hate you i hate you because you feel so alone this journey makes you feel so alone even if you're surrounded by so many people surrounded by love you just feel like nobody understands what you're going through you just feel alone but take it easy on yourself and just know that it's not forever it's not forever no matter what you're going through no matter if you're around people that make you feel like you're useless you're lazy you feel like it's affecting your job your business your mindset everything around you, your body is changing it's not going to last for long it will come and it will go and you will be back to yourself i promise you it will come and it will go and you'll be back to yourself so just take it easy don't put pressure on yourself don't feel like you have to look a certain way you have to do certain things just follow your body listen to your body you're doing the biggest thing like this is the greatest thing a human being can ever do carry and create another human being there's nothing that tops that absolutely nothing tops that so anytime you feel that we just think of the fact that you're actually doing the greatest like i've forgotten a video i just saw a clip of a pastor saying that when a woman is pregnant she never feel like her life is on pause that she's actually partnering with god guys i'm sorry my camera just went off they said allowed to cool down so it went off for a bit but yeah i'm about to end the video anyways so like i said i saw a clip of a pastor saying that anytime you're pregnant and you feel like your life is on pause 
on hold. You have to understand that you're partnering with God at this moment to create a new human being. That is like the ultimate gift. That is like the ultimate work and job. So don't ever think your life is on pause. So just be easy. Take it easier yourself. Understand that you're going to go through this and you're going to go back to being yourself. A lot of people go through a lot when they're pregnant. You feel like you can't think straight anymore. You feel like your creativity is gone. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine and you're going to be glad when the baby comes out and it will all be worth it. Like, I said i don't like being pregnant there's nothing about pregnancy i like but the child <laughs> when that baby comes out <laughs> it will be all worth your while like it will all make sense that child you're going to love that child unconditionally you're going to feel like you have done the biggest job or work of all time because women were superheroes and nobody can take that away from us do you understand so it's not easy so just understand that you're just doing the work of god and you'll be fine okay i promise you you will be fine so whatever it is you're going through, take it one step at a time. Don't be hard on yourself. Don't feel like you're alone. Don't feel like whatever has happened to you that is weird or different or, you know, you're not doing a great job. You're doing great. You're doing great, honey. <laughs> you're doing so great and you're fine. Okay? So yeah, those are my recommendations for things I think you should definitely do as a pregnant mom, whether it's your first time, second time, third time, sixth time, ninth time, tenth time, <laughs> whatever it is, I definitely think you should do these things and just enjoy the process <laughs> sometimes it's difficult to enjoy but enjoy it rock that tummy rock that belly just enjoy everything that comes with it because when you're eventually done giving birth i don't think i'm going to miss it some people miss it i won't miss it because i don't like being pregnant but you would look back at those memories you created and those things you went through and you would appreciate the fact that you it, you did all these things and you enjoyed all these things you understand like you enjoyed pregnancy to the fullest like you used like every opportunity you had to enjoy every part of being pregnant so don't 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 um deprive yourself of anything don't deprive yourself of anything don't listen to people telling you you're doing so much do whatever it is so people even do gender review party separately they'll do baby shower separately so long as you have friends that are willing to come <laughs> and celebrate with you do whatever it is you want to do you understand do whatever pleases your heart just enjoy it because it's not every day you'll be pregnant you understand you understand yeah so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.